All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to continue year seven with our Vancouver Canucks. We got the re-sign stage ahead of us, free agency, and then I don't think we're going to be able to get any simulating done. I want to get a month done, but uh, that depends on how quickly we can get the re-sign stage and free agency done. So I want to try and run right through this because we have a young team here. We shouldn't have a problem with the salary cap. And you know what? Last year was a really good year, so I want to bring back the same, uh, same basic type of team and see if there's any studs uh, available in free agency that we can uh, pick up okay so for goaltenders we're gonna leave uh, Bob and Desjardins just until uh, until last I do want to get Bobrovsky back on our team but just wait till I get everyone else signed uh, Tanev yeah we got to sign him before I do that let me just see what the magical year amount is now uh, Druin's got a one two three three year deal looks like no one's going above three years uh, yeah, okay, so three years is the magical deal right now. I wouldn't mind looking for long-term contracts with some of these players, but Tanev, let me just see, hang on. Uh, Tanev, 28 years old. Yeah, three years sounds about right. He might want, like, four or five, though. He's worth it. I gotta give him, yeah, three years at five million. Yeah, that's about right. You know, I'll give him four years so I can trade him in that fourth year then. By then, we should have good enough players that our top four will be filled, uh, filled up with, like, Seth Jones, Pulock, all those guys. So four years is about right. Um, five, seven, I can go down by seven. Yeah, I can go down to here. There you go. 4.5 for four years for Christopher Tanev. Okay, that sounds about right. Uh, we got Edler Wisniewski. I think I want to trade in the uh, free agency, but it also depends on who's available. Ryan Murray, we want to play this year. Ravenko, want to sign this guy. What's he going to want? This is the uh, big uh, Zdeno Char 2.0 from Boston that we got. How long can I sign him for? Oh, okay. So he does... Yeah, that's about right for him because I'm, I'm expecting to turn him into maybe a top four defenseman, but if he's a career top six defenseman, penalty killer, that's fine for us as well. And he wants eight years at 2.8, so... I don't know if I should give him that or... Because if he doesn't get better, then that's a waste. You know what? I'll just go uh, a three-year deal. Yeah, see what he is when he's 26 years old. Then give him his uh, big boy contract. So that's fine right there. Because then we can really hold it down in the next three years. If we can sign these guys. Get some good free agents. Pollock, I've been waiting <laughs> I've been waiting since Game 7 to be able to do this to you. Get the hell out of here. Release the free agency. You're fired. Alright, your ass is fired. Uh, Vita Smacky, I want to hold off on you. Prout, we don't need... All right, these guys are uh, those depth players I think I signed. Uh, Jordan Subban, yeah, we got to get this guy back. Uh, that works fine. Yeah, two-way. He probably won't ever crack our lineup, but a trading asset of the future. Um, okay, so that's it for defense. I'll come back and uh, see if we can sign Vitismacki. Adam Earn, Zach Cassian, I got to get back. Ryan Callahan, uh, 33 years old. I might want to re-sign him if I can. Same thing with Dale Weiss. Uh, Tarky, Hansen. Uh, Kobusu, we gotta resign. Yeah, I gotta get all these guys. I was reading your comments about, uh, Jensen. I wanna compare Jensen with Bo Bennett. See which one would be better. Or if we can get both of them, but I don't think we're gonna need both of them. Uh, Hanson, I'll hold off on. Tarky, I definitely wanna resign Tarky. Rymo Tarky. Absolutely. Uh, ooh, he only wants 1.4. Damn, I could sign him to an 8-year Rymo Tarky. I could get him for 8 years at 1 point something. Uh, it's cause this is a very weak defensive category that holds him down. But still, that's a hell of a shot. <laughs> See you. Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, you know, you know. I think I'll just give him a four-year deal. Yeah, because if he doesn't get any better, I won't be able to move a contract like that. And eight years is a long time. So 1.25 for four years. There you go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'll hold off on all you guys. Zach Cassian, I think I want back. Hang on. Uh, yeah, he's got a really good defensive category now. He's got a great body checking category. 88 for offensive awareness. Damn, he's actually got a pretty good offensive category as well. And last year, 36 points. See, I don't mind him for, like, the second or third line, but if he wants, like, five, six million, which I think he's going to want, that's a lot. Yeah, he, like, he wants, like, six mil, man. All right, I'll come back on uh, Zach Cassian. If I can afford him, I'll sign him and then trade him in, like, two or three years. But uh, let's get everyone else signed first, the important guys. Uh, Sarich drew in. Hart to Kanan. Yeah, we got to get this fantastic Finn back. Uh, one year at 3.2. That works for me. Uh, let me give you a four years at, uh, how much can I go down by? Uh, yeah, I think I'd go down to 2.850. Well, maybe there. 2.9. Yeah, that's better. 2.9 for four years. Okay, for Hart to Kanan. Bo Bennett, I'm going to compare him. Hang on a second. Scotty Upshaw, I can release you. That was the debt player that I uh, signed at the uh, trade deadline. Cambiates, I think, was that grinder that I drafted. I want to sign this guy. 
He is listed as a fourth liner now. Can he play? 88 defensive awareness, 91 for shot blocking, stick checking is nice. Yeah, this guy's got a, ooh, discipline's at 65, and his physical category really isn't the greatest. And, nah, he's not the greatest. I could find better players out there. His defensive category is great, don't get me wrong, but everywhere else, nothing spectacular. And for a grinder, I want that physical category to be at least a four-star with the defensive category. And his discipline is 65. Nah, that guy's just going to be taking way too many penalties. I'm not even going to sign him. I'll uh, tender qualifying offer, and I'll trade him. Okay, there you go. Uh, Cambini, no, release you. All right. We got to get Renas, but he's still 68 overall, so... Give him a few more years to get better. That's fine, though. We have plenty of players on this team. Billy Mackey, he's got to get a big boy contract now. Yeah, 5.6. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, for four years, five years, four years, I think I could get him at a good. Drop it down by 7.5. Let's see. Yeah, I could go down to around 6.5. Or uh, 4.65. There you go, for four years. Yeah, that's a steal for Billy Mackey right there. He'll want big boy money when he comes out of that, but still, for right now, that's good. And uh, Reinhardt, hopefully he wants something along the same lines, and he does good. I could get him long-term, actually. That would take him until he's 30 years old. You know what? I'll give him three. That drops by 0.3 mil every time. Might be good to snag up Reinhardt early, though, because that is a pretty good amount. I could get him for like four mil. Okay, you know what? Seven years is about right because then I can get him for three point something. Uh, three point eight, yeah, three point eight for seven years for Sam Reinhardt. That's a steal for him. Even if he only turns out to be like a, a second or third liner, three point eight is decent for that player. So that's good. Tomoru, I'm gonna release you. You're 35 years old. I can release you. Uh, Radic Faxa, okay, so he's gonna be ready to play next year. And Joe Colburn, I want to wait on you as well. Uh, goaltenders. Sergey Bobrovsky will wait on you. Okay, so let's just simulate a day. Let's see all the players that we got back, see how much cap space we have. I know I'm going to be having uh, enough to sign everybody. I just want to just gauge it to see how it is because we don't know who's available in free agency. And if there is a stud out there, I wouldn't mind signing him, especially if he's you know younger than the age of 29. I would love to pick up a player like that. So we got all these guys. Yep, all right. So they're all back on our team. $27 million left. Still got to get those two guys. Defensemen, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got our six defensemen that we need. Technically, we don't need Vitas Mackey, but if we're trading away uh, Wisniewski, then we can go Vitas Mackey, Pulak, Ravenko, Murray, Tanev, and Edler. I don't know if that would be better, right? I think Wisniewski helped our team last year, so... I don't know, Vitus Mackey. I think I should sign him just for depth because he does have that uh, amazing defensive awareness. Yeah, I'm going to sign him just for depth anyways. Uh, and then that's about it. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to give uh, Vitus Mackey just a one-year deal. And he wants it. You know what? He wants a two-way contract. That's perfect. So I'll give him a three-year three, three -year deal at uh, point eight. There you go because it doesn't affect the cap, all right, unless he's up on the team. That's not a lot anyways. So we got the defensemen sorted out. Uh, now forwards. We got Sarich, Druin, Mackey, Ern, Suter, Cassian. That's six. Hart, Canyon, Reinhardt, Jensen. That's nine. Weiss, Callahan, Colburn. That's 12. Faxa, Bennett, Tarkey, Hansen, Cambiot. Okay, so really, we don't need Hansen. Yeah, I can uh, release Yannick Hansen now. Well, debt player. Hang on. Debt player, maybe. Uh, how much does he want? Hang on. Oh, you know what? I'll just leave him to the end. But we got uh, three extra players, basically. So, if I'm going to call our lines this year, I'm going to go with Serge, Druin, and Mackey for sure, right? Uh, Ern, Suter, and Hart to Kane. And I'm just going to leave out the unrestricted free agents right now, okay? So, that's six for sure that I want on the team. Seven. Uh, Weiss doesn't count. Callahan doesn't count. All right. So, Jensen, uh, Fax accounts, Bennett. Okay. So, Be Bennett or Jensen. Let's see here. So, Bo Bennett, uh, he's a left-wing sniper, 81 overall, defensive awareness, 83, shot blocking, 85, stick checking, 83. All right, so I liked uh, Bo Bennett for his uh, decent offensive categories with a uh, decent defensive uh, awareness category. No body checking, you don't expect that from a sniper. But uh, here's his individual stats. Now, I put him on the third line. What do you expect from your third line? 25, 30 points, okay? So don't look at those stats and say, oh, he's done absolutely nothing. He's been overshadowed by a bunch of offensive players, okay? And in the playoffs, he actually had 10 points in 17 games. So I'm not going to say, like, he's played amazing, but he's definitely, you know, not the reason that we didn't win the Cup last year. Now, if we compare him to Nicholas Jensen, Jensen's shot is a lot better. His defensive awareness is a lot better. His checking is not. Uh, his senses is not there just yet, but that's okay. Yeah, I think you guys are right. Nicholas Jensen is better. But now here's the question, right? Because Nicholas Jensen, oh, he's got 1.5 left for one more year. Bo Bennett, how much does he want? 
he wants 2.5. All right, so yeah, I think we can go with Jensen. The only thing about Jensen is next year he's going to want a big boy contract, but he's a restricted free agent. All right, never mind. Yeah, okay, we'll go with Jensen this year. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I guess Jensen as the top six. Or, uh, no, he'd have to be on the third line. See, this is the problem. I got so many players here. I got to figure out who I want back. We definitely want Cassian back. Yeah, this guy's been with us. If I'm going to release Cassian, it's going to be due to a trade. So, four years. We could trade him in that fourth year if uh, need be. Down here at uh, 2.5. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Uh, Reinhardt. Weiss I'll hold off on. Callahan I'll hold off on. Uh, Colburn, I think I want Joe Colburn back, just because the age, 28 years old, defensive awareness, 85, 85, 84, and uh, physical category is a four-star as well. Uh, and his discipline is 75, his poise is 82. This guy's just an overall good power forward, and I'd rather get him back than Callahan or uh, Dale Weiss. He's got the better discipline than Dale Weiss. Uh, what was his, sorry, hang on, what was his uh, face-offs? It wasn't very good, was it? 60, okay. Uh, yeah, I want to get Joe Colburn back for sure. Uh, Bo Bennett, Hanson, all right, all these guys. So Joe Colburn first. There you go. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get any simulating done in this video, boys. We got some uh, crazy uh, signings to do. We got a lot of players here. But this is good. We're uh, setting up our franchise of the future, our future dynasty, hopefully. So 2.350 for four years for Joe Colburn. That's pretty good. It's a tradable contract as well in the later years. Uh, yeah, let's go one more day just to see how much money I got left after those two signings. Uh, just take a second here. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, simulated day takes forever. There you go. Zach Cassian. All right, so he's back. Joe Colburn's back. And uh, Vitus Mackey is back. We have $21 million of cap space. Uh, goalie, we still have to sign. Defenseman's taken care of. Now forwards, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, and 12 for Tarky. So technically, we have 12 uh, skaters already. We don't need Bo Bennett. We don't need Callahan. We don't need Weiss. We don't need any of those players. So let me just go to all skaters here. We have $21 million left. I do want to sign some of them, though. Uh, Bo Bennett. Just trying to think. Should I get him back anyways? or should? Now, you know what? For 2.5, no, I'll let him go. I'll let him go. You guys are right. Let him go. We have a, a full enough team anyways. Dale Weiss, though. Should I get him back? 89 for defensive awareness. It's just, I love his stats. I love everything about his stats, except for that damn discipline rating. Uh, he's a plus player last year. He only had 46 penalty minutes. 22 penalty minutes in the playoffs, though, in 22 games. Um, depends on how much he wants. Hang on. How much does he want? Negotiate. Three mil. You know what? I can afford it. Yeah, I can afford it. I'll give him a contract. This could be a really good debt player. There you go. Uh, we don't need Hanson. Now I'm going to release Hanson now. And Ryan Callahan... If he wants, like, less than 3 mil, I think I want him back as well. Because he's got the better stats than Weiss, right? That defensive awareness is 87. Uh, yeah, I know he's 33 years old, but don't worry about that. One 33-year-old debt player is not, you know, it's not horrible. Yeah, I'm going to sign uh, both uh, Weiss and Callahan. Even if we don't use them, I know we have too many players right now, but uh, I want to get these players back. We have the cap space, and I'm still going to have some space to be able to move somebody or to uh, sign somebody. And we still have the uh, the cap hit from Wisniewski if we decide to trade away for another defenseman, okay? So we got Ryan Callahan back, we got Dale Weiss back, and we still have $17 million of cap space available. That's the reason, okay? So we're fine there. Got everyone signed. Yep. And might as well just get Cedric Desjardins back on our team. This guy's had <laughs> a free ride here in uh, Vancouver. And Sergei Bobrovsky, we, we got to get this guy back as well. This guy played great for us, played better than Clint Windsor did. And he wants a very doable contract. One year at 1.45. That's fair for me. So Sergei Bobrovsky and Cedric Desjardins. Let's see if they're coming back to the Vancouver Canucks for one more year at least. There you go. Yep. And the, both of them are back. So we got just under $17 million to work with here. Um, just make sure, double check, I got everyone signed. Yes, I do. All right, so perfect. So let's go into free agency. Yeah, so we're not going to get any simulating done in this video. It's a stretch from now, all right? We're already 15 minutes in, basically. But we will get free agency done, and we'll, uh, and we'll set it up so in the next video we can uh, start the uh, simulation, get far in it as well, not just get one month done. Okay, so let's see who's available. Free agent. Year 7 free agency. This could be getting interesting now. You're getting up to the years where you're going to see a lot of players out there. Uh, okay, so Spiza, Palmieri. All right, so really nobody. I guess I was just talking shit. Uh, oh, never mind. Cam Fowler. Oh, never mind. This is not the Cam Fowler year one. This is Cam Fowler year seven, who's got one more year to get better, but he's only 82 overall with four and a half star potential, right? No point in getting this guy. I'd rather hold on to Wisniewski instead. Well, 
Hang on, let's compare him to Wisniewski, actually. Yeah. Because if he's cheaper, why not, right? We need a defenseman. Let's see what best defensemen are out there. He got Spiza. How good is Spiza? Uh, damn, he's actually pretty good in every category. Yeah, he would actually be a better player to have than Wisniewski. Signed to like a one-year deal. Yeah, okay, I can do that right now, actually. Let's just uh, check out what uh, Wisniewski's all about. Uh, yeah, let's go to trade players. Find him right here. I just want to see his individual stats. He's definitely a player that we could hold on to. I mean, he's only got one more year left on his deal. It's not like it's going to hurt us or anything. Uh, 86 for defensive awareness, 87 for shot blocking, stick checking. Uh, yeah, offensive awareness is 88. He's a pretty good player. Don't get me wrong. Ugh, it's just do I want an offense and defenseman? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should trade Wisniewski. I can't trade him for another good player right now, remember, because I can only trade uh, for players that teams want to give away. So unless there's another stud defenseman out there, I can quickly check. But Spiza, he's a two-way defenseman, but I like his individual stats a lot better than Wisniewski just because of that physical category and the fact that he's a two-way defenseman instead of an offensive defenseman. I know, I know the uh, player type doesn't count, but I don't know. I like his individual stats defensively and physically a lot better. Uh, and if I give him a one-year deal, I'm, how much is it going to be? 6.7. Yeah, I can easily afford that. Um, okay, so hang on. One more thing. Let me just check out my contracts. I don't – yeah, I don't have – other than Pulock, nobody else is a offensive defenseman, right? I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Let me just double-check. Edler, two-way. Tanev, two-way. Wisniewski's the offense. Defense, defense, offense. So Wisniewski actually does fit in on our team pretty well. 34 years old, though. And then we have Jones, who's going to re – I don't know. I think I should hold on to Wisniewski, actually. I think it's just a, a waste to just trade him to just sign somebody. He's better offensive. It's just that damn physical category, the fighting skill. You know what? No, I'll hold on to Wisniewski. He's 34 years old, but he fits in on the team quite nicely, actually. We have two offensive defensemen, two defensive defensemen, and now two uh, two-way defensemen. Oh, no, sorry, three two-way defensemen. Right, right, right. I thought Ryan Murray was a, de a defensive defenseman. Never mind. Uh, but still, he fits in quite nicely. Yeah, you know, I'm going to hold on to Wisniewski, boys. I'm going to hold on to him. Um, but I will see if there's any other defensemen that are available out here. If anyone wants to give away. So hang on a second. Antropov. Uh, let me just, just fly through this. Cody Franzen. Uh, three years. Hang on. Let me see how good this guy is. He, uh, yeah, he's an offensive defenseman as well. No, that's not worth it for us. Uh, no, I'm going to look for a name that I recognize. Because it needs to be somebody who can play this year as well. Let me just fly through this. Oh, what am I doing? Rookie skaters. Jesus. Uh, skaters giving away. Let me go back a few teams. All right. Friends in Tampa. St. Louis. Uh, Thornton. Nope. Pittsburgh. Uh, nope. Nope. Well, oh, hang on. What was that? That looked like a young name, though. I don't think that's going to be. Yeah. No, no, no. He's 21 years old. He's not ready yet. It was two and a half stars for overall. I saw it. Don't worry. Uh, Spezza, we don't need any of these players. I want somebody who can hold down defense right now who can replace Wisniewski. That's the only thing I can make that trade for. Uh, Bieksa, we're not bringing back Juice. Nope, nobody there. Nobody there. Uh, nobody there. Nobody there. No, I think, you know, I think we should just go into the season with Wisniewski, considering what happened last year. And Cronval. Ooh, Nicholas Cronval and Dan Hamus, both one year left. Uh, no, no, no. Might as well just hold on to him. Yeah, I'm thinking we should hold on to him. Uh, let me just go through every team here. If there's, a, I'll I'll know it as soon as I see it. If I see a defenseman that I recognize that I want, it'll it'll pop out at me. But all these other guys, I mean, Wisniewski is basically the same thing as them. You know? No. No, you know what? I like Wisniewski actually. I like Wisniewski on our team. We don't need to trade him at all. Yeah, I, I like our team's makeup, actually. I like the way um, our defensive core is. But we could maybe sign some depth because we are under the cap. So I could just sign Spiza for the hell of it. Uh, Paul Mieri, how good is this guy? Ooh, 90 defensive awareness. Oof, there's another depth player we could sign. Uh, let's not go crazy here with the signings. All right, so is there any young rookies that we could be signing? Nope. For goaltenders and skaters. Uh, you know what? I might as well just sign Cam Fowler. See how he gets... See if he gets better this year. I mean, he's got... <sighs> I don't know what to do with this guy. There's so many players that I could sign here, but they don't fit into our team. Like, I'm just signing players to sign them, right? So, I, it's, it's kind of a waste. Um, Tano, Pulock. You know what? I'm just going to sign this uh, Spiza guy. Ugh, it's a waste, isn't it? 
You know, I'm going to sign Cam Fowler. Yeah, I'm going to sign Cam Fowler to a one-year deal. Let's see what he turns out to be, okay? Because if we decide that Wisniewski's not working out, Cam Fowler could easily take over for him as the offensive defenseman. I know his defensive category isn't the greatest, but he's actually got a pretty good offensive category, and uh, we could use that. I know we got Pulock already, who is... He's got a really good... We have a few defensemen who got really good offensive categories, not the greatest defensive category. The best uh, offensive defenseman with a, de a defensive category is James Wisniewski. So I don't really want to give him away, and I don't want to make a trade just to make a trade. And I don't want to sign, you know, like three free agents just because I can. There's really no space on our team now. Remember, we made it to the Stanley Cup Finals last year, but that regular season record, 41, 31, and 10, wasn't the greatest. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm flustered right now. I don't know what to do with this team. I like the fact that we made it to the finals, and I like the the makeup of our team. We have a young team that is just getting better and better, and our debt players that we signed for last year, we can still afford, right? We haven't hit those salary cap problems with our young Nucks yet. When we have to pay, you know, Jonathan Drouin, Billy Mackey, Sarich, Suter, all these guys big-time money, then it's going to become a problem. But right now, I mean, we can stack this team. This is a stackable team just because of the young contracts. My goodness gracious, man. If I wanted to, man, like if I wanted to like just completely rape the GM system, I could have signed all those free agents and then gone out there and got like a Stamkos or a Tavares, you know, and then gone out there and got like a Carlson as well. And you can afford it. Look, we still have $12 million of uh, cap space available. We could easily turn this team into like the best team ever for like the next like year or two. But that would uh, sacrifice a lot of the young guns and a lot of draft picks of the future. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This team is doing very well for us right now. So I want to just see what the young guns do for us, okay? I didn't want to make any trades. And uh, is it there yet? Uh, oh, we got that. Um, you know what? I'll just leave them there because I can't make any trades anyways right now. Those uh, damn trading rules. Oh, so, yeah, I want to get all the way up here just to show you guys what players that we have. Hopefully, I don't lose this recording. We're 22 minutes in, but I just want to get up to the uh, edit line screen just so you guys can basically see what we have so that we can start the simulation in the next video and you guys can let me know what our line should be, okay? But I think they're going to be pretty much the same as last year. The defense is going to speak for itself, unless you guys want Vita Smacky playing, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Pulock. And offense is just going to be who plays where. I think, you know, uh, other than, um, oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm forgetting, whatever. There's somebody, there's two extra guys there. I think it's Callahan and Weiss. Yeah, Callahan and Weiss. But the other two guys, we got to figure out if we want them back there for depth or do we want to play our rookies. So, we're up here in year seven, preseason. So, let's check it out, okay? So, roster moves. So, here's where you guys got to figure out who's going to start for our team. So, goalies, we got uh, Windsor, Sergei Bobrov uh, Bobrovsky. We're going to go with Goddard and Bobrovsky again. Oh, I brought Bob. My God. Oh, uh, there you go. And Windsor back in the minor. So, uh, Bobrovsky and Goddard, okay? Uh, defensemen, you got Edler, Wisniewski, Tanev, Murray, Ravenko, Pulock. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, oh, wait, I have seven in there. Hang on. It's, uh, it's Cam Fowler. That's the reason, yeah. Okay, so I'll leave Cam Fowler up here just for now so you guys can uh, make that decision. And forwards, I'll bring up Sarich. I'll bring up Suter. Okay, and yeah, that's basically, we got everyone on our team. So, this is the way it's looking right now. We're going to end it right here. There's our offensive line, okay? There's our defensive line. There's all the players that the uh, coach is saying to start. There's our goalie. And all the players who are on the bench, we got Radic Faxa who's on the bench. We got Ryan Pulock who's on the bench. And we got Ryan Motarki on the bench, okay? So, if we're going to play those three players, who are they going to replace? Remember, this is a pretty good team right here. So, any players that go in, that means you have to take somebody out. All right, boy? <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot even talk right now. All right, so, uh, yeah, just help me out with the lines. And we'll start up the Year 7 simulation in the next video. And I will see you guys there.